this is a tutorial on flowers and these shape of flowers are simply a very thin slice of a cylinder form and uh, each petal comes out from the center and if they come out straight it'd be like this one here in the background they look flat uh, you see them in a lot of different uh, flowers shaped like that little flowers big flowers and so on and then you get the, uh, the 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 depth which is actually a perspective by when the petals come out like this and kind of rise up and then of course you get the center which gives you your your, your center of interest and uh, this could be for photography also it's uh, very interesting to learn that uh, even the background for photography would be out of focus, which is a very nice out of focus background. Even these flowers here are slightly out of focus because this is the the focus center here, your center of focus. But these flowers here, uh, they are actually the buds, and therefore because they're all bunched, they're actually a little ball, and they form a sphere. And so they are little spheres, and then when they open up, then they become a, a flat type of flower, just like a slice off of a, off of a cylinder, a very thin slice. Now, what you could do to experience this is you could take a plate and put it up right eye level, straight across eye level, and then begin to tip it towards you. And you watch the opening and the, the cylinder of the plate how it changes and uh, when you get flowers in different uh, poses I would call it then you get the different shapes so you see a sort of almost like a, a cylinder here uh, but it's your sight and your brain that's telling you it looks like a cylinder when it's actually um, I'm sorry a uh, sphere when it's actually just a cylinder but it's because of the uh, the way the blossoms come out at the cylinder point, center point, then uh, it looks like a sphere. The leaves are the same, they're just simply a very thin slice of a cylinder or a sphere. You can turn the sphere into a cylinder by cutting it in two. Then you have one side would be round and the other side would be actually a cylinder, flat. Uh, here the leaves are simply that, uh, the same as the flowers. Uh, just cut very thin and then they're shaped and uh, of course the flower petals are shaped too and they themselves are very thin slices off of a, a, of a cylinder and uh, they, sh they are shaped in different shapes so that's what gives them their interest but this has a very nice depth of field and you have to be careful too when you're focusing your camera what, what you want in, sh in, in your uh, focus point, your point of interest, the most interest, and uh, this is where you find it here, right here, and it's on actually the, the, the left side of the rule of thirds uh, on the, in photography, and it goes the same thing for painting. So in your, in your painting, when you, you put your bright colors in front, they bring out your focus point area, and you you're soften your colors for your background, just like you would see here. So I hope that uh, gives you something to uh, ponder and study and um, have a nice time uh, using this uh, for uh, ideas for photography or for painting. For painting and photography is the same thing. You, you have to get the same sort of, of um, distance in your, in your paintings and in your drawings and so forth. So that's a, a good example here. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.